Rob's butt. Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, back with another review. And today I'm gonna to be having a look at this Avengers Infinity War Diamond Select Gallery Unmasked Iron Man Mark 50. This thing is huge, wouldn't fit on my diorama. I got my camera backed up about a mile. Got some good weight to it as well, really solid piece. And there is the front of your box. You have a big picture of Thanos here. You can clearly see the statue through the box. I mean, if you're an inbox collector, this is very inbox collector friendly. You do have a window on the top even to where light can come down through it. Window on each side as well. Well, there's a lot of Thanos on this Iron Man figure, which I guess he was the center focus of Infinity War. But here is a picture of the statue. You also have a little reed up there. Here is the other side with the window on it. And there is the front again. So I am going to take a second now and get this statue out of the box so we can have a closer look at it. All right, there it is out of the packaging. We'll get a closer look at it in a second. I just wanted to show it all in frame at first. It is a really tall statue. This is one foot here, my ruler and it only goes up to the effects coming out of his suit. And like I said, it does have some good weight to it, good solid piece. And we'll get up and get some closer detail on it. Here is some close-up detail of that rock and fire and smoke diorama piece that it's connected to. I really like how this is translucent, and then inside of it, you can actually see like some bellowing smoke or fire. Gives it a really in-depth feel. And it also does have a really wide span. I mean, this span from these pieces are almost a foot themselves. But if you had problems fitting this on a shelf or something or liked it better without these, these actually do remove. You can pop them right out of the back, display it without them if you need to or if you just want to. So there he is without these pieces. These are really nicely painted and detailed pieces though. I really dig them. There's a look at the back of the suit without those on it. Rob's butt. Yeah, I call him Rob. We're tight. By tight, I mean I watch his movies and he has no idea who I am. You got this cool looking blast effect coming out of his arm cannon. Got that nice translucent blue with some white dry brushing on it. Really nice detailed sculpt in that hair as well. Some back repulsors. There's that Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt looking really good. Got that bellowing effect coming up off of this arm. Now, I know I usually review articulated action figures, but really when I get them, I pose them up, I put them on my shelf, and they usually don't move. This is pretty much just pre-posed for me. Woke. But I'm going to get him set up for a nice 360 shot so we can wrap this review up. So there is a 360 shot of this Infinity War Mark 50 Unmasked Iron Man Diamond Select statue. Well, that was a mouthful. I think Diamond Select did a great job with this statue. All the paint is really well done. Sculpt is great. Even for a statue, you get some displaying options with those back pieces coming off of there. I like how they connected him to that. So his legs are floating free. It gives him a, a real flying feel. Just really nicely done with this one. And I would like to thank Diamond Select for making this review possible. I will link their website in the description where you can go check out this statue and tons of other cool stuff from Diamond Select. But that's all I have for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. Bye forever, 3,000. Woke.